Look at this beautiful, beautiful plant. Verbascum thapsus. This is the mullen plant, a long ally. Let's learn about her. I'm very, very thankful for the mullen that I found and harvested. And um, just so very thankful for the herbalist teachers that um, I'm learning from, so thank you. Hello everyone, welcome back to Becoming Vermont. My name is Coral and today we are going to be deep diving into mullen. Something that I just collected in my side yard. How beautiful is this? And more than likely, this is a weed, um, a plant that most of you um, have seen before, like myself, overlooked for its medicinal values. But this guy is going to hopefully help me uh, get rid of my cough that I have right now. And in order to do that, I have to dehydrate my leaves and make a tea infusion. So follow along, let's just jump into this mullen excitement and I'm so glad you're here. I think it's very important to be extremely careful where you forage and, and harvest your plants that you use for tinctures and teas and infusions and syrups, all of those things. The wonderful thing here where I was able to um, harvest all of my mullen leaves. Uh, they're from an area that um, is far away from roads. It's an undisturbed lots of land that just have plants um, and weeds to most, right? Uh, but it was just covered with mullen. And it's early spring here in Vermont, so this mullen is pretty new growth. And the mullen will grow in these rosettes. And in another video, I will, I will show how to identify mullen. But for today's purposes, I'm going to show how to dehydrate mullen and to prepare mullen to make an infusion, a hot water infusion, which is a tea. So I'm just going to make sure my mullen is clean. So here I have a bowl of water and my basket of mullen leaves, and I have my salad spinner, and then I'm going to, with these brand new scissors, um, I'm going to use these to cut up the mullen leaves to uh, be able to get all of the bits and pieces of the cell wall broken down into a really good infusion. I will be then putting them on my dehydrator trays and dehydrating them. So let's just get started. Just quickly taking a peek to make sure there aren't any visible insects. And you can see some of these are very, very tiny. This is a very, very tiny rosette bud from the very, very new growth of the mullen plant this spring compared to a larger, this was more in the inside of the plant, the new growth. This was one of the outer leaves of the new growth. Mullins are biennial plants. That means they grow for two years and then they will have a tall floral stalk. Then spin them in a salad spinner. Now we're just going to continue cutting these up into small pieces, arranging them on the dehydrating trays and putting them in the dehydrator. I was able to get nine whole trays of this cut up mullen leaves and I'm really excited. We're gonna put it in the herb setting. Uh, I think that's about 105 degrees and we'll let that cook uh, one to three hours. We'll check every hour until it's crispy. Let's go.
very dry, but still feels wooly. <laughs> it's got kind of funny. So this is all of those mullen leaves dried up and I kind of just crunched them down. And now what I'm gonna do is take one full handful of these mullen leaves that are dried and put it in a quart size jar and fill it with boiling water and let it sit for four hours as an infusion to help my cough. So let's just keep going. Yes, I'm making a mess. I'll add a little bit more. I'm gonna call this about one cup of dried, tamped down mullen leaves to this quart jar and I'm going to now add boiling water on top. It's been four hours. The water is no longer hot. I can touch this and the mullen leaves are fully saturated. They've given all of that goodness to the water. And now I am going to strain it with a cloth and keep the uh, unused portion in the refrigerator. So you can have eight ounces of this infusion two or three times a day. And again, keeping the remaining uh, liquid in the refrigerator when it's not um, being used. So my approach to this infusion is to strain it um, and catch it in this bowl. But because of the fine hairs on the mullen leaves, even when they are dry, um, I want to use a cloth. So I have a double layer of cheesecloths that I will use as well to kind of strain those fine hairs off of the mullen leaves so I don't uh, drink that. I think that would scratch my throat up even more and that doesn't sound good. So let's, uh, let's start straining. smells green. I don't know what to say. It smells green. And I'm just going to squeeze every bit of this lung aid into Here is my mullen infusion, my mullen tea, and I think I'm going to heat some up right now and take some. So thank you, mullen. This is what's left of the mullen leaves after I squeezed everything out, but if you can see, you can see all of those fine hairs. So that's really good that I didn't get anything like that in through the strainer, the metal strainer. This cheesecloth really, really helped. Cheers to my mullen infusion and hopefully starting to feel a lot better. Mmm. I didn't add anything to this. I think you can add like a little sweetener if you wanted to do maple syrup or maybe some honey, but I wanted to just try it plain. And it tastes like it smells green, earthy. I really like it. So let's see 
it's like one o'clock. I can take maybe two of these today. And we'll see if my throat and my cough starts to improve. I don't know how quickly this will work, but I hope quickly because other than my cough, I feel fine. But for whatever reason, this cold that I have is settling right in my chest and it's giving me this dry cough. So I thought, well, I learned about mullen. So let's make some a mullen infusion. So I did. And I'm also, I also made a mullen tincture, but the tincture, excuse me, the tincture will take, I think, two to three months to um, fully extract. So that'll take some time. But in the meantime, I have my, my mullen infusion. I have some remaining dried mullen leaves. And uh, yeah, there's just so much more that's gonna be happening, but I'm very, very thankful for the mullen that I found and harvested. And um, just so very thankful for the herbalist teachers that um, I'm learning from, so thank you. Mm, that's really good. I highly recommend you try this. Wow.